Hello, people. Welcome to another edition of A Dose of Drew. And today on Sunday Sharpings, we have the F, the 10-inch F Dick. Dickeron Dick Duo. And that is a lot of dicks in the title. Um, and uh, if you have seen the movie, Ted, you know that the F, that, we'll get to why that's cut in a minute. The F in F Dick doesn't stand for Friedrich, as they claim... Read between the lines, sister. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's fuck dick. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I had started this video previously. This was still attached. I cut it off and then the phone uh, went out. So we are redoing it and this is no longer attached. But the F dick, dickeron, dick duo. Oh, yes. That's at least three dicks in the dick duo title. So. so <laughs> But yes, this is uh, quite the interesting little bit here. It has been used, as you can see. We put the shiny side out for the fun pictures and all that. But uh, I have put this to the test, so to speak. Though, I'm starting to think it might be 10 metric inches instead of 10 imperial inches. <laughs> but let the fun and puns begin because we have first size comparisons. And that's where I'm starting to think it's metric inches. Because there is the paramilitary two. As you can see, it just, the 10 inch just rolls off screen. And that's like eight inches tip to tail. So I'm thinking that's more than 10 inches. But there you go with the para three lightweight there as well. Both of those are S45 VN copies I have been customizing. All right, and of course it is just a blur. And there you are, there is the blur. And of course, not just any leak, but a random leak. And for some reason, that random leak needed to go real high. As you can see, pretty significant in size there. And of course, we must get to the fancy ones, the Benchmade Bug Out and the Civivi Elementum. And as you can see, it is much larger than that. And of course, it would not be complete without a comparison, the Dick Duo with my Ween R. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure that there is uh, 10 metric inches. Um, so it's like 16 of our inches. <laughs> You're welcome, gentlemen, to tell your lady friends that it is Eight inches in metric inches. Thank you very much. All right. So once again, the Dick Duo in his title comes from the Diamond and Ceramic. The Diamond is about a 600 fine. It, it feels rougher than the tw than like a 1200 or something. It feels like it's a 25, maybe 20 micron. It may be like an, like an 800 uh, Japanese grip. And the ceramic has a feel much more like a, a spider co fine or like an easy lap fine, where it's about that 2,500 to 3,000 grit, which is not bad, especially for uh, 600 to that. That's a pretty good gap, and it will make uh, is a good enough with a strop something that's in the like the uh, two, anywhere from one to three microns a strop after that will bring an edge to crispy life. All right. So now that we have done that, I am going to get into the empirical measurements. Not that you need to bring a tape measure to the F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo. But as you can see, holding it on the ball, it only has one, out to the tip. Indeed, that is 10 metric inches. <laughs> Uh, it is 10 inches of rod and 6 inches of handle. All right. So, as you can see, they are not lying. They have, indeed, the Dickeron Dick Duo has, indeed, a 10-inch rod. Not only that, but it is not uniformly the same width. It is narrower this direction than it is this direction, so there is a polarity to it which is nice. It means that your sharpening side can get into some uh, deeper curves than the honing side does. All right. So, and it does have, 
somewhat of an angle built into it. Um, it's not so much on the on the tall side when you're when you're using it, but on the ceramic side it kind of is. But it, it's really if you use it as an angle, you're just it, it's really not going to get anywhere. And once again, it does sharpen pretty much anything. I was sharpening recurves are one of the only or, or one of the, uh, rods or some other curved surface is one of the only ways that you can really sharpen the inside of a uh, recurve. So it really does quite a quite a difference. You can do other knives on it too, and and, and the ceramic will definitely hone. Um, so and with the Dick Duo and a strop. You can pretty much take on any, if you're, especially if you're someone who's used to using a rod. <laughs> if you are used to handling your rod to sharpen your knives, this is a great one. You get the Dick Duo. And if you're someone who just needs a Dick Duo in your life, this is for you. Uh, I have no problem telling someone that it's time to sharpen my knives. I am going to go grab my F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo because I will dick her on and find out. Um. <laughs> I'm loving this. All right, so as you can see, it is actually pretty good and it is quite useful. It does this job very well. That's a lot of surface. So you got a lot of surface area on your rod. And um, uh, don't ask me why I had to say it like that. Um, and you know, with the longer and wider, sur not longer, wider surface, I should say, the greater surface area on this side. It definitely gives you, uh, uh, on something like a chef knife or a longer blade, a lot of surface for honing. I've seen some stuff out there, well, I'm just gonna throw it out in this video, where I've seen a, a video where someone was talking about like chef knives sharpen faster because they have narrower bevels and uh, Without, without talking about how short they are. So it needs to be one, two, three, four, three to five times wider. Anyway, <laughs> you failed trig, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, having a good one, having a good time with this one, you guys, but this really is a, a good product. The F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo. And that is, and still, and will always be, a lot of dicks. Um, again, F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo is three dicks for a Dick Duo. Uh, and as you can see, there's four plus the Dickerons on the handle. There's just a whole lot of dicks, no matter how you cut it. And if you are using this to sharpen your knife, you can cut it quite well. Um, this is actually really fantastic for something like a kitchen knife or even just recurve pocket knives. It's not going to get the chip out like having, uh, it, it doesn't have the rough. It's going to take you a lot of rubbing your rod with your knife um, to get something like a chip or uh, any other major damage out. But if it's just getting dull or it's, you know, it was a, it was a rough grit from the factory and you're wanting to fine that grit up, you, you don't want that uh, 400 or 600 grit finish that comes from most factories. Um, this is a great way to really crisp that edge up and get it into that really fine edge that a lot of people like. It's how I like my pocket knives. I get plenty of edge retention out of it. I, I, you get a lot of push cut availability from having that crispy edge. Um, whereas that, that uh, toothier one, as people like to call it, uh, definitely gives you a lot of slicing capability. So there's benefits to both, but it's not always... Um, what you want on your edge. I personally, for my pocket knives, don't need as much slicing as I do with the uh, push cut. So I tend to go for a polished edge. If you're wondering how polished, that polished. <laughs> Mirror polished for the most part. Um, but yeah, it just, it's crispy, it cuts. You can grab any knife. I, I finally figured out how to do the paper towel test thing. Uh, I've grabbed a few. I'll, I'll do it on one of my sharpening videos here coming up. But yeah, yeah, I can pretty much grab any knife out of my drawer and do the paper towel test. I like them 
smooth and crisp at a high grit, which lends itself to that paper towel test very well. So as we go through here, I want to continue to go the design. The design of the F Dick Dick Ron Dick Duo is actually pretty cool with the, the, the spread of grits, the spread of the Dick Duo uh, is, is not bad. It, uh, it gives you that crispy edge and it's uh, the ceramic is going to be actually a little bit finer and a little bit crispier than most other. Um, it's going to be finer than things like the ground steel rods that even uh, F Dick Dickeron that is not a Dick Duo. They have a 12 inch Dick Titan because if your 10 metric inches isn't enough, they've got a 12 metric inch uh, version as well. Um, and they call it the Titan because that's just unethical. And you know what? Um, it, it, it's finer than most of those are ground. They're ground, they, they're steel. Uh, and I'm going to use F, uh, F. Dieck, Friedrich Dieck from Germany. Um, their, their steel and what they claim as the metric for them, where they're grinding it 63 to 65 hardness steel uh, with something like a 1500, an equivalent of a 1500 grit um, to 2000 grit um, fineness. So they have a really hard steel that's going to uh, end up smoothing out after time, but it's, it's around that 1500 to 2000 grit. So it's going to smooth out a little bit maybe to this over time, but yeah, it's, it's going to, that would roughen it up even more than the ceramic would. So that, that's not too bad. This is actually a pretty, pretty good deal right here as far as what it does. And it will take on S35 yen. It'll take on any steel that you have. The new Magna Cut, um, some of the other stuff, S45 yen. S35 yen is really the one that's out. The SG2s, the uh, Rex 45s, any of those really hard steels that would have been harder than the, uh, the regular steels, this will absolutely the ceramic will take it and the diamonds will make short work of a dull edge they will bring it to they will uh, grind it down with a fair amount of quickness and that ceramic will make it hair popping sharp quite quickly um the aesthetics the light color um with you know when it's not all the dark steel they have some all metal ones they actually have some really stylish ones that are really cool um fd has a uh, been around a long long time since 1778 so just a few years after the u.s these guys started um which is kind of cool and they have a lot of cool styles that uh, are historical traditional and just from other areas so and uh they seem to be really high quality i i don't find anything wrong with quality you can find some little bits where if you're looking at it, this almost seems wider at the two ends than it is where, you know, there's almost like a, a dish at the two ends where you're coming in. But I have not found that to be true when I place a ruler or anything on it. I have simply found it to be flat. So it is an optical illusion. Let's see, oh, there we go. So it is an optical illusion caused by the plastic, not by the... Uh, ceramic itself but a straight edge clears it up it is just an optical illusion it is very well put together it is a nice piece of sharpening uh, stuff and the mechanics of using it are no problem i have yet to find any problem with using it tip down or uh, holding it and coming down into the handle there's plenty of handle that's thick tough and a little bit of flex even almost it's really hard but it's pretty solid Actually, no, that's not flex. That's just a soft material that don't flex really under a whole lot of pressure at all. Um, but you could run your knife into that and, and, and not have a lot of worry about coming down to it. A little bit less so on the honing side, but as long as you keep your hands, your fingers where the handle should be, you should be good. So it has a fantastic little guard. Um, and it really just kind of gets around. It's no, most noteworthy point on this is that it is a diamond and ceramic in one. So anything you want to sharpen, it doesn't matter what steel. I don't care. You can sharpen a ceramic blade made out of this same stuff on this, at least up to the diamond. The ceramic won't really do anything to it, but, but this will. They'll just kind of smooth each other out, which isn't necessarily a bad thing either. But yeah, so that, that's really a noteworthy point. The intended purpose, of course, is to be your one-stop 
honing and sharpening needs for most home use or professional chef where you're starting to get dull on your knife and you can take a couple of swipes down the diamond then a few swipes down the ceramic you're back to hair popping sharp on some on something like uh, uh, uh what's it called uh why can't i do it the x50 um all, all that sort of stuff uh that sort of steel that's in like a woo stuff running that stuff that's like a common kitchen steel that will sharpen up so fast on this diamond and ceramic, it's kind of silly. It'll just take a few strokes on each side. And as long as you're main able to maintain the same angle consistently, you're going to get an incredible result that will just slice through most things with a prom. Um, and the cost of value, this thing was a little over a hundred bucks. What does that mean? My goodness, man. Uh, uh, a full ceramic stone from Spider Co. costs as much as this thing, right? Uh, a full diamond stone from someone like DMT costs three quarters of this. So you can get smaller ones for cheaper for sure. Get little handheld ones or all that stuff. But to get an all-in-one like this at this kind of size is pretty unusual. And to have it in a rod form, which allows you to do any kind of knife, including recurves and even up to stuff that's like rex 121 m390 some really high carbide steels including um what has become a very very nice pocket favorite things like s90v can be done on this rod without having to break out a whole sharpening setup you can just pull this out and it will take pretty much any steel if you just need to to re-hone the uh the ceramic will take it back up and you can take it to a hair popping, really crisp ceramic edge. It is the fine ceramic, not the ultra fine. So if you really want that super slicey through a paper towel edge, you want to go ultra fine. But this does take it up pretty good and you can take it to a strop and it will cut through EDC tasks daily for a long, long time on the higher, higher stuff and give you a great edge in a very short period of time. And it does it at a very comparable price to many other sharpening systems or stuff that would give you a fine in ceramic. So it's not too bad. It's not quite as cheap as something like you can get from WorkSharp that has a couple of diamonds, a ceramic, and a, a leather. That's one of the best values out there and still one of the easiest to recommend. Um, and in fact, we'll talk about what you can do with these things in another video. Um, but so it isn't the best value out there, but it's still, uh, if uh, WorkSharp presents one of the best sharpening values out there in some of their tools where I'm putting in there anywhere from the 95 to 99. But if we're going to talk about it in that, this is like a 90, this is like an 88 to 90 in the value. You get a lot. It does require you to know how to use a honing rod for sharpening, um, that takes a little bit of skill. So if you have that skill, I don't recommend this as your first thing though. If you do learn on this and you learn how to use this, right? You can, once you learn this properly, if you can sharpen a knife, any knife on this, you can sharpen any knife on any sharpening system. It, it's all the same principles. So this is fantastic for that. And, and honestly, for the expectations, I was expecting it to be a little bit less well-made than it is. It kind of looks like a cheap plasticky handle and, and it looked like it might not be very well put together or not properly glued or anything like that. And that's just not the case. This is actually extremely well-made. It is tight. I can, the only thing that's loose is this, this ring. And so if I make that tight, there's nothing. This thing is just a solid chunk and extraordinarily well put together. Will last a long time. Is a full 10 inches of sharpening surface. That's that's really where the 10 inch comes from. Uh, as much as I want to make fun of the metric inches, that has as much to do with the puns of the F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo. Which it's a lot. That's three dicks in a dick duo. That is still a whole bag of dicks right there. Um it, it really is well put together in a good sharpening uh, rod. This is something that you, if you bought and you have the skills, if you're like, I need something instead of the old one, I'm getting better knives. I'm getting, I know how to use a honing rod is what I do. 
once I sharp, I sharpen once a month. And then in between, I, I use a honing rod, but I need something for these new steels. This will not fail you. This will take anything. I, you can take an S110V up to, or S90V, up to a crispy edge on this ceramic, and, and it will be fine. Um, you can do it a lot on some of the other ones, if, if as long as the hardness is less. But you get something up in like the 66s, like the Rexes, or the, uh, you know, the Hap 40s, the Rex 45s, all that stuff. Uh, What's the other one? The ZDPs that are in that 64 to 66 range, which are just outside of most honing steels. This will take them down and uh, make them crispy again. And it, I believe it was around between 100 and 120 bucks. I think 120 is about where I've seen it as the most expensive. And I've seen them on sale for as low as uh, like 102 or something like that. So between 100 and 120 bucks seems to be the going rate. And I think that's a pretty good value for this. Um, uh, I, I don't really have, the, the, quite honestly, the only expectation or request I would have is that, quite honestly, this tip was a little bit easier to plant. That rounded edge just makes it tend to slip. It's nice that it gives it an ease of turning to an angle if you want. If you want to turn the uh, rod at an angle so that your blade is coming straight, it does sort of... You know, sort of like the Spider Co. V thing. You can sort of do it. But there's no real way to make it stay. As this thing just has like no grip. Like wherever you put it, it's just going to want to slide. This is really, really slippery. That's the only thing I have a complaint about. The handle's nice. The ring is so this hot, incredibly well built. This handle has a lot of grip even when it's wet. Despite it seeming and almost feeling plasticky. If it is, it's solid, well-wearing plastic. This actually feels more like Corian. It feels more like countertop, quite honestly, when you start to really uh, like dig your fingers to it. It kind of almost has a plasticky feel and look with like an almost like it's molding, but it feels almost more like Corian than it does plastic. It probably isn't, um, might be, but uh, it, it definitely has that feel. So it's, it's got a good solid feel to it without adding too much weight. And it'll sharpen any steel, pretty much any steel out there to a crispy edge. Um, so you could spend money on this and have this be your last honing steel for the rest of your life, probably, if not 20 years. This will clean up. I just haven't done it. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that I have indeed tried this. This was tested and used. I'm not showing you a, a clean, unused sharpening rod uh, as a test mule. This was, uh, this was definitely used. Actually, let me see what this looks like. I'm not so good with the rods, so this may not be the best. This is a good opportunity, but... Oh, that's not the best. Yeah, still a little rough. 600 with a cup with a few passes on there gives it a good edge and a little bit rough. It does much, much better in the slice than the push. So trying to push doesn't do so well, but the slice does. And on something like a recurve where it tends to gather things for a slice, that actually does pretty good. But yeah, I mean, it uh, quite honestly, it, let me see if I can even get this on camera here. There it is. So that's the angle. And then you can do that same angle this way, of course. And it does a wonderful job of crispifying that edge. I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I can't get a very good look at it. But it does indeed work. Makes for a really good edge. Let me see if I can't quickly do a better job here. I'm not going to even bother unfolding. There we go. Crispy it right up. So it doesn't take a lot to really crispy that edge up. And that's S35VM. So I may argue it may, may or may not be the best heat-treated S35VM, but it's well heat-treated S35VM. And that was just a few strokes. So... A little bit of a demonstration to go with it today on this one. But 
for a name that has so many puns and is really just kind of a a, 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 a big dick. Um, the F Dick, Dickeron, Dick Duo, 10 inch sharpening honing rod is actually a really fantastic deal and is very easy to recommend. This is an F Dick, Dickeron, Dick Duo I can recommend. I can wholeheartedly recommend this Dick Duo as it is a great tool and, and something you may even come to just like having in your kitchen. If you've ever needed a dig duo in your kitchen, this is something you can have. And it's not even something that you need to be socially awkward about. You can say, what do I have in my kitchen? I have my F Dick Dickeron Dick Duo. I have my Dick Duo and I use it weekly. And I love it. I love having it in the kitchen. It is fantastic. It makes cooking so much more fun, so much easier, so much better. There's nothing like having a Dick Duo in your kitchen or in your toolbox, really. Just to have a Dick Duo around is to have sharp knives. Uh, and it's to have good skills with your hands. Don't forget that part, right? You have skills with it. So, highly recommended. I'm going to give it a 92 overall. 90 on the value, but just having sort of this unusual and necessary diamond and ceramic on the honing to really get it not only a crispy edge again, um, but to be able to uh, take it from a very dull quickly to a crispy edge for just about any steel you'll find in the kitchen. Um, it will do it well and quickly. Um, and what more can you want besides well and quickly from your F Dick Dicker on Dick Duo? If you have that many dicks, you want it to happen well and quickly, don't you? I mean, come on. So for everyone who sat through this and all of the dick references and the dick jokes and the puns, thank you so much because this is just, there is no way to talk about this and not have fun with it. I'm quite certain that whoever decided that they were going to put this on a card and then market it in the U.S. knew what it was going to be like. So there's no way to do it. May as well run right at it and I can wholeheartedly agree. So F Dick. There you go. You guys went right at it. There's no reason to not have a F Dick Dicker on. Dicker on and find out. So, Friedrich Dick, if you've seen the movie Ted, you know it really stands for Fuck Dick. So that would be Fuck Dick, Dicker on, Dick Duo. And you need it in your life. What more can I say than that? <laughs> for those who have uh, gotten through it, go ahead. This has been your dose of Drew. And uh, a 10 inch fuck dick, dickeron, dick duo honing rod is what you need in your life. So go ahead and take this video, watch it twice, comment as much as you like, be mindful of side effects. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your 10 inch dose of Drew. I am said Drew. And you guys have a great rest of your night.